Hey guys, so I know that I am so late in this that I probably should have just saved all these products for next month to do a June favorites, but I really just didn't want to pass up the opportunity to tell you guys about these products and kind of explain why I've been loving them. So even though today is June 12th, almost the middle of June, I'm still going to go ahead and film this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, so the first um, set of stuff is makeup, of course, and the first thing is this eyeshadow by MAC. This is called Shale, and it is the best combination of purple-gray mixture, and I have been loving it so much. This is really almost one of the only um, eyeshadows I've been putting on my eyes for probably, I would say, almost maybe the very beginning of May, if not just a few days before. So I would definitely recommend that. Next is a mascara, and this is by Dior. This is the Black Out um, Waterproof Mascara. And I started using this a long time ago and loved it. Stopped for a little while. I think I ran out and just wanted to try something new. But recently, I went back to it. And I don't remember other than... I don't remember why I wanted to try something new. Like, this is such a great wand. This is... I mean, the wand itself is probably why I would always rebuy it now. But aside from that, it's not gonna, it doesn't smudge on me and um, it lasts all day. Like by the end of the day, I don't have little dots up there or anything. The only downside I would say to it is that it is very, 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 very hard to get off with eye makeup remover. Um, which, I mean, if you think about it, that, if that's the worst thing about it, then that is okay with me. But aside from that, that is the only, I wish it was just a little bit easier to get off because I feel like I really have to work on it at night. So the next thing is um, Proactive Refining Face Mask. I use Proactive on my face. I love it. Um, I had the chicken pox last year. It was the worst experience of my life. And since then, my I feel like my skin has became different. Almost um, something some products that I used to use might not be the best for me now. They might tend to break me out. It just it I don't know. It's it's weird, but I do love this. So like I said, I use the whole three step um, system. I usually only use it in the morning. If I use it morning and night, it really dries me out. But this I use about once a week. Um, I put it on as a mask and kind of just hang out. I usually watch TV. My boyfriend hates it, but um, I usually leave it on for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, and then rinse it off, and my face feels so great, like so smooth, and just, I feel like it evens me out a lot. Um, it kind of takes off all the dead stuff, and it's just really good, so I would recommend it. Next is, um, this is by Aveda. This is called Lash Abundance. This is kind of a new product. Um, I'm not sure if all the salons kind of have it out, but basically this is kind of like a dupe for the Latisse thing. It is kind of expensive. I was actually given this one for free, but I want to say that the retail for it is about 70 It might be less than that. I got this a while ago. I just started using it though this month, but already I can see a difference. Um, it has a little wand like this and you just put it um, right at like the lash line. Um, top and bottom I pretty much only use it on top morning and night you have to really be strict with um, how often you use it you do need to stick with it to see the best results and I've only been using it for a few weeks but I um, I can tell a difference my lashes don't necessarily seem longer right now but they do seem um, thicker kind of and I really like this. This is a six-month supply. So after that, basically, if you stop using it, your lashes are going to go back to normal. From what I've heard, like I said, it's kind of a new product. So there's not a lot of reviews out there. But I can do a whole review on this if you want. So leave me a comment and let me know. The next thing is nail polishes. And these are both by China Glaze. And this one is called Flip Flop Fantasy. And then the blue one is um, Bohemian Escape. These go great together. This is such a neon pink summer one. It looks so great. I thought that it was going to be um, kind of hard to work with. I thought I was going to have to put like a white underneath it. And I didn't have to do that. So I was really surprised. It's Both of these are really great formulas. 
this one isn't streaky at all. You definitely, I would recommend putting the top coat over it just to give it that extra shine. And like I said, I mean, these two go gr so great together. I have them on my toes and I have my big toe done as kind of like a cheetah print. So I can, um, I'll post a picture on Twitter and let you guys see that. And if you want a tutorial on that, then I can easily do it because it was so easy to do. Um, next is hair and this is Garnier Fruities Wonder Waves Wave Enhancing Spray Flexible Hold. I don't use a lot of Garnier Fruities um, products but I saw a few other YouTube videos talking about this and how much they loved it and just how great it was so I had to try it and I'm glad I did because it is super, I mean it is super amazing. I'm just going to leave it at that. My hair is pretty much straight. Um, it's kind of poofy, I guess. Like, I still definitely have to flat iron it. But it does have a little bit of wave. Not enough to where I can leave the house without any product in it and it be okay. This um, definitely helps it. It doesn't give it that crunchy look, which I absolutely don't like. There are other products in the line that will give you that, but that's not what I was going for. Gives me a very beachy look, which I like. And it's also good to, if you kind of throw that in your beach bag while you're out by the pool, just kind of spritz it in. Um, the next product is Hemp's Original uh, Herbal Body Moisturizing Hydrate and Lotion. Um, I used to always use this a few years ago. Loved it so much. Like when I, when I think of the smell, I think about summertime and just always I mean it's such a great lotion and, and it's not hard to rub in or anything the reason why I stopped using it was because I they came out with a new scent called pomegranate and I thought that I liked pomegranate but I hated it like I don't feel like the lotion was the same in it the smell just makes me want to gag thinking about it but recently when I went to get new shampoo I saw this and it was on sale and I'm like why did I stop using that so I would highly recommend this this is going to help um, keep your tan. I mean, it's going to keep your body moisturized. It does have hemp seed in it, 100% natural hemp seed oil. So in case you were wondering what that was about, that's why that's like that. Um, so just a couple more. This is my Kindle. The, and the reason why I have this is because I just finished the three books of Fifty Shades of Grey and they are definitely in my favorites video because I could not put the book down once I started. I obviously heard about it from TV, radio, magazines, friends, all kinds of stuff. So I had to experience it for myself and I did and really could not put the book down. So I don't want to get too much into that because I have young viewers, but if you want me to do a whole video on books that are on my Kindle, including Fifty Shades of Grey, I can, I can definitely do that and I can almost possibly do a um, book review on it. It might be a little hard, but I could probably make it like PG rated, I'm sure. Uh, so I would recommend that book. If you're old enough to read it, go for it because it was really good. So my last um, favorites for this month, these actually got this month, but I didn't want to save these um, for, my, for my June favorites because I didn't know if the sale would still be going on. But I got two different colors, black and white. Um, I, they say American Eagle, but I got them from Payless. I guess it's like an American Eagle for Payless. These were only $9. How cute are these? I mean, basic sandals. I think originally they were like $13, but the sale right now is that they're 9 So I love these um, gold little rhinestones on them. They're easy to walk in. They don't hurt my feet. I mean, these are like my go-to sandals in summertime. I usually have like a silver pair that get destroyed by the end of summer. I can't even wear them the next time, but I love these. They have black and white. Um, I saw a pink, a teal, a yellow, and I think that that may have been it, but I would definitely recommend these shoes because I mean, $9 is really cheap. So that is going to do it for my May favorites that video that is so late and I apologize. Um, if there's any other video requests that you have, let me know and I can get those up for you. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and it, I don't know if you guys are a Pretty Little Liars fan, but that comes on tonight and um, I really like Teen Mom for some reason, so that's also coming on tonight. Um, True Blood just started. 
Sunday I'm into that. Um, oh, I remember one more thing I was going to show you. This case I got for my phone. How cute is that? This is, I got this for my birthday in March, but I haven't done a video with this in it and I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, I know this is already such a long video, 10 minutes, but this is from J. Crew, and I have the iPhone 4, um, not the iPhone 4S, but just the same, the basic one. And I originally went in there to get the, um, the cheetah print one, and I came, they didn't have it, so I found this one, and it's so cute. Um, this is kind of like a hard silicone case, so, so cute. And if you like this, they have other ones that are, like, red and blue and orange and just great colors. So, I actually haven't been to the website since right after I got it, so they could have a whole new line out. I have no idea. But, anyways, like I was saying, thanks for watching. Please comment, um, subscribe, and find me on Twitter. Thanks, guys. Bye.